The City for Champions proposal has supporters and it has its critics. KRDO News Channel 13's Jay Polk tells us the City for Champions went before an audience of a different sort today. This is the vision of one designer for the City for Champions. To get an idea of why this design was chosen, we talked to the architect. We could show people our idea of what the building should look like. That's right. The architect of this design for City for Champions is nine years old. Smith was one of about a dozen students that presented their ideas today. I thought it was wonderful to see the level of interest from children who are nine years old. One of the main concerns for the young designers is the environmental footprint of their projects. Our young architect took it into account in his design. We are supposed to um, find materials that will be useful for the environment, so we chose Adobe. Other designs included PowerPoint presentations and even a commercial. The level of sophistication among the third graders impressed the visitors. We each took a couple of uh, uh, the brochures. While the future of a city for champions is still up in the air, the future of these students is not, according to one of the people who saw the projects. Maybe these kids down the road could be the future Colorado Springs citizen that worked for the project. If these presentations are any indication, they have a bright future, no matter what field they choose. In Colorado Springs, Jay Polk, KRDO News Channel 13. That is a big project for those third graders and students asked questions after the presentation. One of them was about the financing. If you have questions, there is a City for Champions town hall tomorrow from 4 to 6 at the Regional Development Center on International Circle in Colorado Springs. Well,